News 8 Storm Team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. We've seen a few showers and we're tracking another little line of showers, even some thunder showers with some of these. You can see some lightning out over western Pennsylvania. You wouldn't be surprised if we hear a rumble of thunder overnight and some pretty good stuff coming. But it, as it gets across the mountains, it, it kind of weakens. But I do expect some of these to make it eastbound. And in fact, we are seeing a moderate shower right now up to, uh, toward Grantville, up in uh, parts of Dauphin County right now, down toward Lingolstown. A few light showers also over uh, just to the east of Palmyra, up toward Jonestown in Lebanon County. Again, these are, are light and spotty, but we could see a few of them in the overnight hours tonight. So a few showers. They'll move out, though, I think after about 3 o'clock in the morning. It'll start clearing out. It'll be a comfortable night. We'll be down in the 60s tonight, and then mostly sunny, comfortable day, start to the day, 60s and lower 70s. But then it clouds up again tomorrow afternoon. We'll call it partly sunny. I'm not going to be pessimistic about it, but there could be a few spotty thunder showers again later tomorrow, tomorrow evening. It's going to be a breezy day. Still up near 80, but comfortable. It turns much cooler, though, as we head into the day on Wednesday. Numbers right now are pretty comfortable. 77 in Lancaster, one of the warm spots, although Carlisle's at 79. See where they had a few showers. Lewistown up towards Sealands Grove. They're in the 60s, uh, 76 right now in York at this hour. Dew point temperatures down in the 50s to near 60 degrees. Yeah, it feels real nice out there whenever you have those dew point temperatures in the 50s but hey tropical weather down south Collin 50 mile an hour winds and it looks like it's going to move on shore to the east of Panama City you can see all the heavy rain they've been getting and some of these thunderstorms are rotating a little bit they are watching out for perhaps even some tornadic activity and heavy thunderstorms down there but that's not our weather maker you see this big circulation over James Bay yeah, it's an area of low pressure and around it we're getting a northwesterly flow of air and little disturbances. You can see one is moving through now. We get a little break and we just maybe this one tomorrow afternoon. There's another one back up in here. So they're going to continue to just kind of rotate on through and it'll keep us cool. It'll be much less humid than it was last week. I don't look for widespread rain, it's just this pop-up stuff each of the next couple of days. So predictor, let's time it out for you overnight. Again, a few of those showers come through, then it dries out. We start with some sunshine in the 60s. We get quickly up near 80 and then get those popcorn-like showers popping up tomorrow afternoon. Dries out as we go into tomorrow evening, but then an even stronger disturbance comes through as we go into tomorrow night and part of Wednesday. Very cold air aloft, too. Wouldn't be surprised we see a pop-up shower with even a little bit of small hail in it with those uh, and temperatures, I think, are primarily going to be in the 60s. We'll say high near 70, but could be a little cooler than that. And with the breeze, it's going to feel much cooler on Wednesday. Decent day on Thursday, although some clouds may return Friday. Can't rule out a thunder shower over the weekend, but it doesn't look like a washout. But stay tuned. We'll try and fine tune that for you. If you're on vacation heading down to shore, not a bad week. Uh, again, a few spotty thunder showers, but you got to expect that this time of the year. Could be a little warmer. It could be. <laughs> yeah, this is not exactly going to be beach great weather. pool or beach weather in the next uh, week or Listen, so. Listen, if you're at the pool or at the beach, you're probably pretty happy. Well, anyway. yeah, it doesn't so matter. All you right. don't want to go in the water. Summertime. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff.